It's August 2nd, uh, around 10.30 in the morning. Just going to do a quick update of the gardens. This is the three bed terrace garden. Looks like the peanuts coming up nicely. And finally the turnips are growing good sized leaves on them. The peas are shooting toward three feet tall and getting flowers on them. Let's go around back this time. Over here we have some watermelon. That's one of those plants is getting three feet tall. And we have squash and black beans and some marigold for bug control. And the corn, the corn is doing fantastic. This is an Indian corn, an ornamental or colorful corn. And on the back row, I think the cucumbers are finally starting to send out climbers. So they're on their way. We'll walk through the last terrace. Have a look at the lettuces. They're finally starting to leaf out a good amount now. And let's have a look at the garden I finished earlier. They're doing very well. We've got a very long pumpkin vine going here, maybe 30 feet, but not a single pumpkin on it. That's all right. As well, we've got parsnips and radicchio growing well in there. Swiss chard, some turnips over here, as well as broccoli. Everything seems to be doing all right. I mean, these turnips are really growing. Just to give you an idea, there's my finger and got good sized turnips coming in already. We've got a patch of watermelon interlaced with cantaloupe melon in this bed. Probably starting somewhere in there. Yep, they're starting already. You can see the small melons. This is a better location for the Cucurbitaceae than in my first bed, which was too much shadow after the end of spring. Sunflowers in this bed are already coming up nice and blooming. Uh, we have the herb garden. We've got the tamarind. Really is in need of transplanting now, but doing very healthy. The remainder of this bed was all chamomile, and several of them have now flowered, so I have lots of chamomile to take from, but oh, at least half of the plants died, maybe 50. And we have speckled butter bean all flowering. It looks like I'm going to have a lot of butter beans. And that's this whole row. And I don't mind. The dill is bolted. You can see this dill plant and the whole row. This one, second one, is just starting the bolting now. You can see how it starts. I don't know how they cram all that into one little branch. But this one has uh, really bolted to a nice umbellifera or umbrella. And you can see this one is another plant somewhat along its way. And the rosemary is actually getting decent size now. Slow to grow, but really tasty. The globe artichokes really have gotten sturdy and strong. I think their roots finally developed deeply. I don't water this bed ever. And you can see the row of basil behind the artichokes there is the size of a hedge. Just to give you an example, here's my hand in relation to these basil plants. And behind the basil we have a nice clutch of oregano and the three shrub plants I germinated from Denmark at Franz's house. They're about mm, 
maybe 22 centimeters tall. And I've been in this garden. I've been cultivating and collecting a lot of coriander, the seeds of cilantro plant. This is the cilantro plant I've let go to seed, as well as a few others. And you can see there's a lot of coriander. Behind we have tarragon. And the tarragon plants have really gotten large. Lots of tarragon to choose from there. We have fennel. And I like the way that the stalks of the fennel have gotten wide and strong. They're nice plants. Here's some cilantro that hasn't gone to seed or bolted yet. The lavender is finally coming up. As well as the sage. It's getting nice. We've got some jalapeno pepper growing on the vine. Many of them in there. The catnip for Cali Joe. It's really gotten quite bushy. As a matter of fact, it started to bolt itself. And a row of thyme. Really getting thicker. Glad to see. And this used to be a corn patch, the first harvest. I've cut all the corn out left the uh, roots in the ground and in between each corn plant I placed uh, spare turnip plants from the terrace garden that were planted thick in seed and I thinned them out into this bed. Looks like we'll have a lot of turnip greens and turnips here as well. This is a wild weed plant that I just wanted to let grow and you can see there's a really interesting flower on it. It opens up for a few hours and closes and dies. Here's an early one that hasn't even fully untwisted yet. Weed, but really interesting. And the Brussels sprouts. Still waiting for sprout evidence. But nonetheless, the plants are really very hardy and doing quite well. And the lettuce garden. I've been harvesting thousands and thousands of lettuce seed pods. I have enough lettuce seeds to last the rest of my life, I think. Of course, the seeds won't last that long. But I'm also giving them to friends. So, that's all the bolted Grand Rapids lettuce and bib lettuce. The carrots, I've harvested one. Still small, but fully developed. It's just not long yet, so I'm going to let the carrots grow all the way to winter and leave them in the bed to refrigerate right here in the ground. And this is the carrot. one of the carrot plants bolted and has gone to seed. Well, that's the umbrella seed cap for carrot. And over here, my first garden where I never thought we'd get anything, we're finally getting nice looking cantaloupe melon. And there's several around this bed. There's one there, this one there. Yeah, there's a few around the garden bed. These tomato plants look very dead and wilty, but they're still producing tomatoes. And I think they will continue to do. I think no matter how yellow the plant leaves look, it will keep producing. We have peppers. We're finally getting some yield on the bell peppers, you can see there. It's only the second one so far. Some decorative salvia. And coleus, small coleus plants planted some time ago. They're all still holding on. These were tiny, tiny seeds like dust. And they're still growing. No matter how dry the soil gets. And of course the cherry tomatoes. I've already harvested nearly a thousand. 
and there's about two or three thousand on these vines right now. I've actually peeled 500 of them last night and I'm making a sauce today with 500 cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Let's see how the cabbage is doing. Had a little bit of a bug infestation and I've been washing the central leaves off with strong hose pressure and that's been keeping them under control. Still waiting for cabbage heads to develop. And that's good enough for now. Take a look from the back of the garden toward the terrace. This is mid to late midsummer. Talk to you later.